change is going to happen. So let's show you how we can manage those changes. So in this video, we're going to show you how to change the data uh, inside of your fittings when uh, something changes in the spec. Uh, maybe it's a description, maybe it's a tag, um, you know, who knows. Uh, the CAD administrator has gone in there, made some changes, and we're going to show you how to, to handle that uh, as a designer. So we all know that change happens uh, as fast paced as a lot of our projects are. Uh, sometimes we start modeling before we get the specs built uh, for, um, to, to start designing. And so the CAD administrator will give you kind of a bootleg copy and say, hey, here's your specs, go run with them. Uh, and then, you know, finally get some back from the checker, the checker you know, has some marks, we're going to put those out there. And so, you know, now we've got to change our information. So uh, let's take a look at our OLED over here. Okay. So right now we have this called out as a Sokolet 3000 pound CS um, ASTM 150. Okay. Let's say that something comes up and it says hey we need to put this as a SOL and we want uh, CL 3000 um, so the CAD administrator will come in to the spec editor okay um, and we're going to go here here's our socket and then we're gonna go to um, okay we're gonna have to change this on the data file um, so normally I would go into the data file, change it, but I don't want to get too far into the weeds as far as spec editing. That's in a much later video. So uh, we're going to come in here and we're just going to say S, S S O L. I would just say S O L C L 3000. Okay, and we're going to hit um save and so now we have sol 3000 cs and we're going to save this so we're going to come over here and we're going to hit save we're going to minimize that and so the way that cad works works okay is that when you load up a model it loads up the spec at that time it does not um, automatically upload it or change it whenever there's a change in the spec. Uh, this helps with uh, efficiency. It's not having to constantly hit the server back and forth or uh, the the you know wherever your your files are. Uh, it loads it up once, but you can make that change. Uh, you can see that change. So once your CAD administrator says, hey, I've updated the specs, please check them out, uh, or please update your, your lines, um, you can come over to your uh, spec, and we're going to look at, where's my OLEDs here? So we're going to go here. Oh, we don't have redu reduction size. So let's set our reduction size to 4 inch. And here's our OLEDs. Now you can see that it still says Sokolet 3000 pound. So we're gonna hit refresh or reload. So if you come up to the top of your CAD work spec view and you go next to the last button, which is reload PRJ file. So we're gonna hit reload PRJ file. And you can see that the SOL, the, the Sokolet, has been changed with the CL150. Okay. Now, this does not get automatically pushed down to uh, CAD Works. Uh, it does not get pushed down to the model. And so you're going to have to do some manually updating. Um, you know, so 
if you click on this you can still say it says socket and we're going to do a convert from PRJ data and so what this command does is that it basically will pull in the information to your model uh, and um, you know update the fittings that you tell it to fit I mean change okay so we're gonna hit enter okay it's saying select components so we can select all of them if we wanted to uh, but in this instance we're just gonna hit this one and we're gonna hit OK and it says select component to keep its position or hit enter to finish uh, we're not really moving anything the sizes aren't changing we're just changing the description so we should be fine here so we're going to hit OK and then we're going to come over here and you can see that the spec uh, has been changed to SOL 3000 or class 3000 um, this goes true with uh, pretty much anything inside of uh, here so if you want to just see the tag if the tag changed um, then we can you know we can run our command and change the tag uh, our isogen items here you know let's say the S key changed or uh, there was something in here that we needed to, to change you can do that too now the problem with this is if you go inside of any fitting uh, let's say this root valve right here and we say hey we want to change this here to be a different type of valve you know um, different valve tag or whatever the reason um, if you do this PRJ data it's going to change that back um, and so you got to be kind of careful with that uh, same thing with your 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 tag now inside of CADWorks it will allow you to select what you change in the piping rules okay so we're gonna go kinda more in a deeper dive here but stay with me it's very important um, so we're gonna hit cancel and we're gonna do our setup so either you can type in setup or come up to the top left hand corner here and we're gonna hit setup and then about three quarters of the way down on this sheet you will see uh, apply change data rule okay this is very important and so uh, if you click right here now these check marks here a lot of people go ahead and click on them and and it really doesn't affect because this is set up by your cat administrator again deep dive don't want to get into that right now um, so we're gonna click right here you can see where it says custom data and then there's like this box with three dots that's where we want to go so if we click on that you will see all these items right in here okay that you can choose your size your short description long description tag variable length uh, isogen data line number custom data um, you know it, this is very very important now what I usually do is I focus on the one thing that needs to be changed and so we're gonna select all okay now when we select all and you see every one of those check marks there that means nothing's gonna get changed uh, only the items that do not have a check mark will change so right now everything is protected so if you do a change size or a change spec or convert from project data nothing's going to change on that fitting um, so if we wanted to update the tag let's say okay and we're going to come back over here and we're going to hit OK and we're going to hit save or close or you can come over here and hit apply and close um, we're going to hit save and close okay and we're going to go ahead and go back into our spec and we're going to 
go ahead and change this SOL back to normal. Okay. We're going to hit apply. And then we're going to hit our tag and we're going to change this as SOL 1001. And we're going to hit apply. Okay. And we're coming up here. We're going to hit save. Okay. This is what your CAD administrator should be doing. Uh, unless you're a small firm and you are the CAD administrator and the designer. Um, been there, done that. So we're going to come over here and we're going to refresh our spec. Okay. You can see that the socket has been changed again. Now, what I'm going to also do is show my tag. So if you come into settings, go into the view, we're going to hit show tags. And then we're going to come back in here and go. Um, you can see that our SOL 1001 is at the end. And so now we're going to do, you know, the same command convert from project data. OK, we're going to select our OLED and we're going to hit OK. We're again, we're not changing sizes or anything, so we're good. And so if we click on here, we go into CC, I mean, uh, CI edit, um, uh, component edit here, you can see that now the tag has been changed. But the description hasn't because we told CADWorks not to change the long description, only change the tag. So if you want to change the description, you're going to have to go into setup spec editor um, and change that rule where it would change the long description. Now, if any CAD administrators are watching this, that is one of the rules that I set as uh, allowing the designers to to change uh, because of basically this reason right here. Uh, so, you know, if you want to do something different, by all means, but this is this is what I've always done. So again, a thing you have to watch out for is because we had everything unselected. Uh, you can see that our line number here uh, on this root valve is uh, P1407. Because we didn't change the line number. Uh, we didn't tell we told it it's okay to change the line number our line number is set to 4 inch CS 150 and if you click on that uh, OLED you can see that it's set to 1 inch CS 150 and so because my size says dy dynamic and so the OLED is a 1 inch so it took it as a 1 inch and so anyway I hope that helps you understand how to change uh, data from the catalog or from the PRJ when something gets changed into the spec. Um, you know, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if there's any videos you would like to see, uh, please hit me up and we'll try to get them in as soon as we can.